Hey, good morning, friends. It's Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. So I'm just going to start my week. And as you know, uh, we do sleep sitting here. And of course, this is a regional position, which means that you are away for uh, some days and then you get home. So what I want to do today is show you what I take on the road to give you an idea in case you want to come uh, uh, maybe it, it can give you an idea on how you can pack your stuff. I just want to show you briefly what is working for me again. I'm just starting to go back on the road, so I may need to refine it. But right now, I want to show you what I'm doing and what is working for me currently. Of course, as I said, I may need to refine it more and more. So there are three bags that I personally bring when i'm coming uh so you have this right here this is the big bag that has most of my stuff and then i have this right here this is my it's like the gym bag right but i don't use it for the gym it's not like i'm going to the gym but i bring this specifically uh for going to 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 take a shower when i'm going to take a shower i put my stuff in here and this is what i take and then I have this right here, which is the food that I bring to work. It may look like a small one, but it's really big, like it has different compartments. So I'm able to, food, to fit in my food in here. So those are the three bags. The food, this bag right here is a small bag, but I use it to go to take showers. And then this huge bag right here. This is, I think, um, they say like a hundred liters. Like I got it off of Amazon in case you guys need it. I will, if I remember, I'll look for it and put a link in the description. If I forget, one of you may remind me or may ask me if you need it. I can link it to you. I think I can look for it um, on Amazon or if you just get the idea, you can be able to find your own. But I'll let you know why I got this one specifically. Okay, so the first thing I said is I wanted to tell you about the bag. This bag, I got this off of Amazon and I specifically wanted to get a big bag. And I think this they said is like 100 liters, the capacity. I think it said like 100 liters. So I wanted a big bag. And the reason why is I wanted to fit most of my stuff in a bag. I did have, uh, you know, like a suitcase, but I thought that would be kind of bulky. In here, I can be able to squeeze my stuff in there to make it fit. So what I have, I'm just going to give you a general idea. I'm not, of course, going to show you everything. But just to give you a general idea of what I'm able to pack in the bag. As you can see, right here, I have a pillow. It was able to fit in there. I'm able to squeeze it in there. I also got this. This is the mattress cover. So before I put on my bed sheets, I put this mattress cover uh, on here. Now, this particular mattress has like a plastic bag, which means it's a new mattress. But most of them don't have plastic bags. And, and I, I don't know even how a plastic bag feels like. So I'm going to tear this off because I don't think it will be comfortable sleeping with it. I think they just put this in here. But uh, the first thing I do is I put a mattress cover on top of the, of the mattress. And then, of course, I have my bed sheets. Uh, then I have my uniforms. So for the uniforms, what I do is I, I bring, um, I recycle my pants, but I don't recycle the the shirts so what i mean by that is today is a thursday so today and tomorrow i'll put on the same pants so for thursday and friday i know that i'm going to put on the same pants for saturday and sunday i know i'm going to put on the same pants and then for monday i'll put on a different pants so what i do is i come wearing one pant and then i bring two more pants right to cover me through my five days so i recycle my pants i put them on twice so like today and tomorrow and then Saturday and Sunday and then Monday. And then for the shirts, I bring a shirt for each day. So I bring two pants and then I bring four shirts. 
to cover me for the entire week. Of course, I, I want to bring my own towels. Now, if you take a shower in our bathrooms, they do provide towels. They also provide towels in truck stops if you want, but I prefer to bring my own. And that's why I bring, um, I bring my bag that I'm going to take to the showers. The other thing that I also bring, even though they provide, uh, you know, like, uh, they provide the shower gel, I do bring my own. Uh, that I want, uh, that I prefer. The other thing I also bring uh, that I encourage you to bring are slippers. I, I don't like stepping in the bathrooms with my own bare feet, so I always bring slippers uh, to use when I'm taking a shower. I use these, uh, so I bring those. Of course, you know, like the face towel and whatever you need to bring for your, uh, for your restroom. The other thing that I have now, I will be honest with you, I haven't yet found the time to, but one of the things that I, I do is I carry this. I've been carrying this. Uh, these are bands for exercise. Instead of carrying weights, uh, which could be a good thing if you can carry weights, uh, that could be a good thing. Maybe in the future, after I, I settle in and I have my routine going, I may bring maybe like a couple of weights but I bands are really good a good way to exercise and they are portable so I have these for exercising the other thing that I I bring uh, I told you this in a different uh, uh, video like sometimes if you are not able to get a shower you need this so that uh, if you're not able to get a shower or you may you may be like in the middle of the day during the summer you feel like you know, like you are sticky and you need to wipe yourself down. I bring these uh, washcloths. They are disposable. You just, you know, like pull out one, clean yourself. Uh, they make you feel fresh. So I, I bring this with me. And then uh, I have, of course, like uh, my workout clothes. If I want to go out for, you know, like a walk, a run, or I just want to do some exercises i bring uh, some workout clothes and what else do we have in here i have my comforter so that's why i needed this big bag now when i was buying the comforter i also made sure i buy a comforter that will be able to f uh, you know like that is not so bulky and and big now i also bought a comforter cover so what i do is whenever I get home, all my, uh, by the way, for the uniforms, if you want, you can just, you know, leave them at work. We have a place where you can drop them. They will wash them for you and then you will find them uh, maybe like after two weeks. They give us a bunch of uniforms. So if you don't want to do it yourself, they can do it for you. We have a uniform person that does that but personally I take my uniforms home. The only time I will think of handing them in if maybe they have stains or something like that but i take my own uniform so when i get home i you know like my uniforms my bed sheets my mattress cover uh pillow case all that stuff that needs to be washed i'll just throw it in the washer and start the wash right away now this comforter right here has also a ca this on top is a comforter cover so i don't wash this every every week but uh like every maybe like three weeks or once in a month that's when i plan to wash it so like for the two times i've been coming i haven't been washing it so that next time i go home when i'm off i will take the comforter out and just wash the the, the top so as you can see it's uh the comforter is inside and then i just have the comforter cover so that way it helps you to keep clean so uh again you just pack other stuff that you you need for work uh of course i can't i don't have to tell you about your underwear and all that stuff but those are the main things that i wanted to show you again as i said on top of that i also have you know like my food i've already put in my food in another video i will talk to you about how i do my food prep but today i just wanted to give you an idea of the three bags that i bring and what's in that bag just to give you an idea in case you want to know uh, what you need to pack all right um 
uh, I got an opportunity to do this video before I could start my shift. I come in a little early just because in case I need to get a truck or the truck has a problem and I need to get another one, I have another time. They don't want us to clock in earlier than an hour before. So like uh, right now, it's almost nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, I will be able to clock in and start my pre-trip. I've already done, uh, you know, like some of the things that I needed to check out, like my permit books and the stickers and all that stuff. But at nine o'clock, I will start the clock and then I'll do my proper pre-trip because I don't want to do the pre-trip off of or off of uh, the clock. I'm waiting for the for the time. Uh, as, as soon as that time hits nine o'clock, I start my pre-trip. I'll get out of here, which will give me an opportunity to start my day early and be able to end it earlier. I usually don't want, especially in the summer. In the summer, I'm okay. I, I don't want to drive past nine o'clock because that's when, you know, like after eight o'clock, it starts, I think, to get dark. In the winter, I will have to bring that time even kind of closer. But for those of you that want to join um, Walmart, uh, feel free to use me uh, as a reference when you, you when you have somebody as a reference on your application my understanding is that helps your application be among the first applications to be considered so if you know somebody already that you want to use I encourage you to use them if you don't know anybody uh, feel free to use me uh, you just need to put in my name Moses Kangave and my driver ID which is 72112 that will help your application if you have any questions uh, at the end of the video you'll have my contact information you can text me or you can send me an email and I'll do my best to answer uh, to answer those questions uh, as soon as I get an opportunity to until then, stay blessed and stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, driver success. Yeah, this is driver success. Sharing my life, my life. It's as real as it gets. Keep my faith in my creator. He is my navigator. So tell me if you ready, cause you know I'm rolling steady. A husband, father, Christian and truck driver. Telling you my story in the world through my eyes. So keep the faith, keep the faith. Let's keep it fresh. And this is driver success. Yeah, uh, let's go.